Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to a brand new video of how to make 500 coins per card. It's going to be a nice little method for you guys today. I hope you do enjoy it. We're going to check out the video now, guys, and I'll see you all in a second. Hi guys, the cheapest and most safest coins on the whole internet. Check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWNFEEF at checkout for a discount. They have a 100% safe comfort trade and they also do lots of different deals with coins and also different players, as you can see down below. Check them out. There's a link in the description. Hey guys, what's going on today? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today I'm going to be showing you a method of how you can make around 500 coins or more a card. So we're going to start off here with a bright move, which is Angel, Cor Angel Correa, sorry. So he's around 4k normally, I believe, 4.2k, something like that. I'm going to go and put that in now and just check his price. So 3.8 is the cheapest, but I'm guessing around 4k is his sell price. If you want to go and look for now and converted positions, guys, like the right wing or the right forward. So we put in 5.2k, you can see straight away a great deal there on that first one. So that's a perfect start. It's going to be basically, I'm going to list these because these are for my trade to team this season messy account. So don't worry about them. Just ignore them. Um, they're going to just be listed up at a later date. So make sure you're watching that series, guys, to see how we sell them on and whatever. Um, I recommend you go and give that series a watch, guys. Um, we are going to be doing it every couple of days, hopefully. Episode 1 did come out yesterday, so please go and give it a check out if you can. Then we have Gelson Martins. He's normally a right mid. You can see here a few on bid. We'll add them into the watch list um, here. And then we'll go and have a bid on them. Here we go and bid on this one. It didn't actually get a bid. Um, somebody outbidded me straight away, so I'll put one back in there. Two K is a little bit much for him. I can get for like one for six. I'd be able to, I'd be happy, but um, yeah, I'm not gonna pay two K for him. It's still on for about two four probably something like that. It's a good method, you guys. If you have twenty thirty K, but you've got to be patient. So it's not a method if you wanna be on the game all the time trading. I'd recommend it if like say you're working nine to five, you have a couple of hours at night trading, then you sell them on in the day, you know, maybe on for like a day or whatever when you list them and hopefully they will sell on then. It's a good method for that sort of thing, but not for one like I say if you constantly want to be on the game playing it and all that stuff. So we go next guys on to I believe it's um Shakira yet. Yeah. So we check him in a right forward any deals going but nothing really as such. So we check him in the right wing next here just to see if anything's up um here um, there's a couple of bids look again i mean nothing great but um we go and get that bid quickly we did actually go on to win this 1.5 one here so we bid on that we left the other one because it was quite far away um i don't want to keep spamming bids and i've already got quite a full watch list um with stuff i believe at the moment and um, we have two and a half k here 2k again a little bit too much we're selling one for like two four so again if you have loads of coins and want to do this you could easily go and buy them ones but they're just not interesting for me like, i'd rather leave them ones if you know what i mean so we go next on to lazari this guy right forward one and a half k definitely worth paying um a good little deal there but yeah guys not a massive amount of profit to me but there's still like you know there's a massive profit overall but not per card because nothing's going to sell on for like ridiculously more and we go finally here now to, I believe, uh, Rafinha from Leeds. And then we go and try Le Mayer after this. But um, there's nothing really going around on them. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you have, please do drop a like. And also, please sub if you are new. Um, it will really, really appreciate and help me out. So yeah, I will see you all very soon with a brand new video.